The price of Bitcoin has been surprisingly resilient with all of the FUD going on around the U.S. infrastructure bill over the last week or so. In fact, the price just keeps pumping higher. It seems that the reaction to Congress talking about Bitcoin has been that people are going out and buying Bitcoin because it is now receiving a level of legitimacy that it has never really enjoyed before with regulators. Also, we have some good news on the adoption front with another company buying Bitcoin, another big uh, payment option for Bitcoin, as well as one of the biggest banks in the USA getting into the crypto game. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if that's a topic that you would like to learn some more about, make sure that you subscribe to the Lark Davis channel. Gently tap on the thumbs up button just for the YouTube algorithm and click on the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So let's go ahead real quick and take a look at the charts to get started off with here. So we are still watching our exponential moving averages here. So we can see the uh, 50 day is getting very, very close to the 200 day right now. It looks as if we are going to see a bullish crossover for these exponential moving averages, potentially around the weekend, unless something very, very, very dramatic happens to the price. That is exactly what's going to happen. This just really is a confirmation of the bullish action that we've been seeing in the market. So I'm excited to see that. I hope we uh, hope it, you know, nothing dramatic happens and it is going to play out um, approximately by the weekend here coming up. Now, one of the biggest and obviously most exciting things going on right now is that we have closed multiple candles now above the 200 day moving average. Let's just throw some volume on there as well. Now, the 200 day moving average, the orange line on the chart here, this is the bull bear line. Underneath the 200 day moving average, when we see the price trading under here, this is a bearish trend. That was what we saw exactly here. Now, obviously, bearish trends are great buying opportunities. They don't last forever. Some people think they last forever. They don't last forever. Bearish trends are bearish trends. You have to take advantage of them when they happen. I hope you guys did take advantage of that when it was going on. And now, of course, we saw a great, great price recovery coming in here for Bitcoin. Absolutely raging higher. And now... We are above the 200-day moving average. We closed a candle above it here. We closed a candle with the complete body close above it here. And now, of course, we are working on our third candle close above the 200-day moving average. Obviously, I really want to see this line hold. Now, it may not hold. We may see the price come back down under. This first attempt at a strong breakout above the 200-day moving average you know, it, there's a possibility we could see a price retracement coming in here. And I would love to see that personally. Add some more Bitcoin on. You know, it's just uh, me being me being selfish. I want more Bitcoin dips. Give me more Bitcoin dips. Didn't buy enough. Didn't buy enough. I bought a lot. I bought enough. Let's just put it that way. But um, regardless, I really honestly, to be honest, I want to see the 200-day moving average hold as support. I want Bitcoin to establish support here. I want to see the price pushing higher. That is, I think, a very good thing for the market. So this is our critical line right here. Let's hope the volume picks up and that we do manage to hold over the 200-day moving average. We do have that EMA cross coming up, which weirdly, when we do have those bullish uh, EMA crosses, we actually tend to get um, a bit of a sell the news kind of effect. So we'll see how that plays out. But um, I think the market is looking fantastic right now. $50,000. It's only a few percent up from here. And uh, just to give you a bit of perspective here as well, the all-time high for Bitcoin, it's really not even that far away at this point. You think about, of course, how far we've come for the price recently, and we're really only about uh, 20, uh, 29% down from the all-time highs right now, which is, you know, for Bitcoin... That's not that crazy at all. By the way, if you want to buy some Bitcoin, buy some Ethereum, buy a great range of different altcoins, 
Binance is the best place to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. Of course, it's a great place to be trading cryptocurrencies, whether on spot or on futures markets. But you can buy cryptocurrencies over on Binance using more than 50 different fiat currencies, which makes it available to a wide range of people, except uh, for U.S. investors, unfortunately. But if you want to start yourself an account over on Binance, use the link down below in the description. You get 10% off of your fees and up to $700 in trading bonuses when trading futures over on Binance. Now let's just dig into the news here. The Senate has approved the bipartisan infrastructure bill in a historic vote. No amendments were put into the Senate's version of the bill. That means that the original wording of the cryptocurrency provisions, the ones uh, cooked up by Janet Yellen's Treasury Department, that's what's gone through. That's what's in the bill. That's what's getting passed now over to the House of Representatives. Now, even if that ends up being the final version that the president signs off on after it passes through the House of Representatives. You know, there is at least the silver lining here. Uh, Mike McGlone made this point. He's a, he is an analyst over at Bloomberg Intelligence. Now, he made the point that crypto, the crypto market expects the U.S. to do the right thing. Any U.S. move to regulate cryptocurrency assets is likely to support renewed upward trajectories for Bitcoin and for Ethereum. So essentially what we're seeing here is what, even if the legislation is not awesome, which the current legislation is not awesome, as we've discussed at length on the channel this week, even if that legislation gets through, well, guess what? It's still giving regulatory clarity to the cryptocurrency industry. I hope personally that the House of Representatives will actually step up the game here, actually have a debate on this topic, and actually get something done with it. But if you see the way it went through the Senate, maybe we shouldn't hold our breath here for a good change to come into this bill. I really hope, though, that they're going to take a much more common sense approach to legislating the cryptocurrency industry. But whether or not they take a better approach or a worse approach, the reality of this bill is that America is going to get landmark, whether good or bad landmark, cryptocurrency legislation enacted into law. It's going to provide regulatory clarity for taxes, again, good or bad. And it's going to give basically institutions what they've been asking for for years. We need regulatory clarity and then we can bring mountains of money in. So yes, it will pump the markets good or bad, but obviously we want to see the better provisions that were proposed by Pat Toomey and uh, Cynthia Loomis actually getting through. I hope that, that those ideas all get passed over now to the House of Representatives. Somebody in the House of Representatives picks up that torch, runs with it, and tries to get those amendments put through into the bill. Fingers crossed, but hey, even if that doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world, obviously, and uh, it's actually, in a weird way, good, even if it's not awesome. So that's the current updates on that. I will continue to update you on this very important cryptocurrency story as we start to see debate opening up for it in the U.S. House of Representatives. Now let's talk about some good news for Bitcoin. Car insurance company Metro Mile announced that they have bought a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. That's according to their SEC filing. Cool, man. Another company buying up a little bit of Bitcoin. And I know, I know it's not like Tesla's 1.5, just boom, billion dollar Bitcoin buy. That was cool, man. Million dollars, not 1.5 billion. It's not even a billion. It's not even half a billion. But I'll tell you this, every story like this just adds to the mountain of social proofing that has come in for the cryptocurrency market, for Bitcoin, that increasingly Bitcoin is being seen as a nice, normal, even a modern, cool, trendy way to diversify your company's cash holdings. So this is another company adding on, which is awesome. I'm happy to see that. Also, we have AMC announcing that they're now going to start accepting Bitcoin. 
Memes are becoming reality. I don't know. It, it, so AMC is one of the, the so-called meme stocks, right? It's uh, one of the stocks that people love because people like going to the movies, right? And the um, Wall Street Bets community, big in on AMC. And now AMC, I guess, in a weird way, is kind of returning the favor to those communities by saying, hey, we're going to actually start accepting Bitcoin. So now you're going to be able to go to the cinema, buy movie tickets, using Bitcoin. That's pretty damn cool. Now I know what you're going to say. I'm never going to spend my Bitcoin on anything. I'll hodl it forever. A lot of people think that. But then again, there's a lot of people out there who are making money playing video games and they're going to turn some of that into Bitcoin and they're going to spend it because they can. There's a lot of people out there flipping JPEGs for thousands of dollars. They're going to take a little bit of that money, put it in Bitcoin and spend it on stuff. It doesn't all have to be hodled to infinity, people are going to spend it. I'm sure there is not going to be more than like, I don't know, 0.1% of all their transactions. But I think, again, it's great social proofing to have another big company saying, yes, Bitcoin is accepted here. Love it. I love it. That's a really cool adoption story. The kind of adoption story that we need right now. And then this comes out, PNC Bank. This is the fifth biggest bank in the USA is planning to offer cryptocurrency investment services to its clients. Now, this is in uh, coordination, collaboration with Coinbase. Incredible, incredible. Man, this is just so nuts what we've been seeing. All the big banks in one way or another are making cryptocurrency plays. Just last week or maybe it's earlier this week even, we covered the story about JP Morgan launching a Bitcoin fund only for their rich clients, obviously. Goldman Sachs has been uh, having a Bitcoin trading desk for the rich clients for a while. Morgan Stanley's been offering Bitcoin products to their clients, and on and on and on. So many big banks are getting into crypto. It's just reaching this, this incredible moment, this, this cresting moment where we're about to see this just absolute tsunami come through the markets of money just pouring in from all the retail investors, all the institutional investors. And again, weirdly, even if it's not the best legislation, the cryptocurrency bill in America will actually provide more clarity for the markets and will allow even more money to come into the markets. So wowzers, absolutely wowzers. Very cool to see another major bank bending the knee to Bitcoin. You realize that within about four or five years, every single bank is going to be offering some kind of cryptocurrency related services, whether that's being able to buy Bitcoin via their banks, store Bitcoin via their banks, access DeFi, buy Ethereum. They all want a piece of the pie. They see where the money's flowing. We're seeing the cryptocurrency markets having just mind-bending volumes, anybody, any financial institution who doesn't want a piece of that pie, they're, they're going to get blockbustered. That's what's going to happen to them, basically. Final uh, thought here for today. Actually, this is your question of the day, but it's also a thought of the day. I know I have been talking a lot about Bitcoin and Ethereum recently. I'm going to make videos on other topics soon. It's coming. It's coming. I've got a video on Terra's Luna that I want to do. Uh, it's a very interesting asset, and I think we should definitely talk some more about that. Polkadot. I have not forgot about Polkadot. Polkadot bags still sitting there. In fact, I bought some more Polkadot during uh, the big dips a couple weeks ago. And I've also got a low cap gem video coming up for you here in the not so distant future. So keep an eye out for those. But your question for today is let me know any topics that you would like to see covered. You know, those burning crypto questions. Lark, what about this question or that question? Let me know that down below here in the comment section. Or you can come over here on Twitter and I'll leave your question there as well. Or maybe there's a coin you really think I should be paying attention to that I'm not paying attention to. It needs to be on my radar. You can let me know that as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you're having a great freaking day. Long live the blockchain, just for old time's sake. And peace out till next time.